Hello, Bumpy Mixed Quickums here. It's time for some more Xenonauts. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of various ages and possibly small pets and maybe a few raccoons. Maybe they're listening on like a... They have little tinfoil hats on because they're going to take over the world. I mean, we saw that they're obviously spacefaring in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So, technically raccoons could be controlling the world right now. They could have a puppet government in place and we wouldn't know. We just wouldn't know. Either way, guys, this is episode 81. And in the last episode, we had a terrible loss because of my terrible gameplay skills. So we're going to hopefully make up for that terrible loss. I don't know how, but we're going to pretend like we're going to make up for that terrible loss somehow right now. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to finish outfitting our folks with the correct armor. And there it is. Now Everybody should be happy, excited, and super stoked to see everybody in full sentinel armor. Everybody except two folks with mag weaponry, which is pretty sweet. And I want to take a look over here. Did we finish off a sentinel armor yet here? No. And we're not done there yet either. Those will not be ready in time for the next alien onslaught, which I was kind of expecting a little earlier. But there it is. We have that to deal with. We will deal with that with the double marauder. And we have this one, 201, which we will deal with, with, uh, I don't know, thing one and thing two should be able to handle it. They're large, I don't think they're massive. UFO 202 is large, we can deal with that one with, uh, and hound, I suppose. And we have a very small one that we will intercept with Marauder 5. And then we have a massive one that we're just going to cancel on right now. 204. Are there two right there? Is that what we're looking at? I guess we'll cancel on that too. And, oh, that's annoying. Alright. I'm just going to auto-resolve it. I don't even care. Uh, return to base. Uh, now we're 205. Oh, way over there. Really? I'll intercept that with Marauder 3. I mean, might as well. Alright, let's, uh, let's engage this. Alright. We'll engage it. Um, I'm just gonna fly at it. I'm gonna get this guy, though, to change his course. Alright, and he's gonna roll to his right. Fortunately, they don't move very quickly. So it's actually going to be quite easy to deal with. They have no way of turning fast or anything of that nature. So it's going to be, like I said, pretty simplistic. Eventually, I should get close enough to actually kill it, maybe. Alright, so the strike cruiser is destroyed, it is down. Ah, there we go. Okay, so apparently you don't have to shoot it down over land, but it's a better idea to do so. I guess if you shoot that one over water, you don't get everything you need out of it, so. There we go, so that was my mistake. Alright, um. I would like to intercept. The massive one with those two. And then this one with uh, Frog and Toad, I guess. Alright, we're going to engage or tail it until it's over land. And we're just going to airstrike it, though, just so you guys know. I'm not going to do battle with this one. I'm going to get our Millennium Torpedoes back up, or Plasma. We're on Plasma. Plasma Torpedoes back up and running. And we are going to murder this guy. It's going to be sweet, sweet, nice. have it. We're going to drop his gas. Guess we'll have him slow down. To, like, he's not moving now, so 
don't know. The more I can really do. Oh. Need to have him roll to his right. There we go. Yeah, he took a little bit of damage, no big deal. We shot him down, we're just gonna airstrike him because, well, we can, so we're going to. Boom, 60,000. We're still looking pretty good on money. We're, hey, just past my birthday. Alright, even though I wasn't alive at that point, still. Alright, we're gonna tail until overland. We are going to just auto resolve that because we just don't care. We're gonna airstrike it as well because we don't care. It's not worth sending people out after. This we're going to engage, and we're going to probably do it with the secondary group, so something to look forward to, I suppose. And we're going to get this guy to change his course. Get him to move down here. And... go. Victory. Simple, nice, easy. No big deal. Alright, so our air supremacy is still there, which is nice. We're going to, of course, wait for... Alright, we're going to engage this. Do I even need to engage it? Probably not, but we'll do it anyway. Why? Because we can. Alright, so we're going to go here. We're going to shoot that thing out of the sky. Then we're going to get this guy to cross this way, this guy to cross this way. Like this right here. Goodbye. All right. Woohoo! Victory. All right. So, Elenium, some alien alloys, and we have a crash site to deal with as well. I think everybody is ready to go, so we're gonna launch our folks up here to deal with it, intercept it with the Dragon Rider, and we'll annihilate that. If it's a quick mission, which it might be, we'll uh, hop on that one as well. Probably not. It's not going to be as bad as the last couple because I'm not doing the ridiculously large ships. So, I'm only dealing with carriers. I still have battle cruisers or battleships or something I have to deal with next. So, it's going to get a little bit more difficult. As I'm sure you see, things are progressing and becoming, well, slightly more difficult. So, we'll see how it all plays out. Can't be certain, but I don't really like how it's going for me. Alright, Splooch is the new dude. Okay, that's not the end of the map. This is the end of the map, and so is this. Alright, well, I guess we'll look this way. We're unfortunately in another snow level. I'm not a big fan of these snow levels. I'm sure many of you are not fans of the snow levels either. They're, they tend to be pretty wide open and well, somewhat hazardous to our health. I do miss my happy giraffe. It makes me sad that the happy giraffe is no longer with us. But he served us well, and he, well, you know, he did pretty good. And unfortunately, it's my own fault for dying. But we're going to live with it the way we can, the way we have to. It's an unfortunate reality, something that we're just going to have to accept and move on. There's too many, too many people on the list to bring him back just because I did something dumb. It wasn't overwhelmingly stupid, it was just unfortunate. The probability that he was just going to randomly shoot my guy was there. I mean, it was it was, it was was fair. It was probably 50-50, but I, I, I don't know. I felt that it was actually a lot less than 50-50, and that's why I did what I did. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. So, take it how you will. I messed up. I done screwed up, boys. It is what it is. I've moved on and accepted it, and I am ready to continue with whatever it is that we're doing now. Alright, Cure Legan's got a real weapon, and we are set. Everybody's good to go. And... Apparently, we have vision of an alien over there, somehow. Alright, the atomic potato's like, you know what? I don't like aliens. They kill my friends. So I shoot them, and they die. Sometimes. Sometimes they die, not always. In this particular instance, didn't die. Who knew? Alright, we're gonna take a murdering shot on him. Not not doing work. Boom. Done. Face that way. I guess we'll go stand on them and be like, yeah, lord it over you. We owned your face. What? 
Uh, the alien craft could be over this way. Ooh, there's an alien over this way, though. That much is certain. Ooh, uh oh Nope. Nope. Hmm. Can we deal with this? Let's see. It's not too, too bad. Um... Where else are we? If I can shoot that guy down, I will be exceptionally happy. Alright, I did it. I'm a hero. Alright, um... Let's get Magic Nate Ball to move forward. And then head this way. Oh, it's another really short map. Huh. Alright, well, I'm going to move over here and I'm going to shoot across with uh, Yad Varnas, who's actually been very effective lately. If there's nothing else, I want to suppress him. Ooh, I heard him and I suppressed him. What? I'll move here. Oh, boy. It's like every time I move up, something worse happens. We're just going to back up. Maybe better for my health. Alright, um... Scaro, I guess we'll send him maybe way down this way. Get into a position where maybe he'll be able to do something in the next turn. We'll see. Uh, Redith, I'm going to actually have her fly over this way. Just kind of want to see what's going on. I vision of some alien somewhere. Okay, that's fine. Fly over here and okay, I see that. Nicole Hernandez. I'll probably take a shot and finish this guy off. <coughs> Boom, and indeed we did. We know there's somebody up there, there's a Haradin right there. So it's okay. We're we're still okay. We're we're okay. We're not great. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's not looking super good, but it could be a lot worse too, so you take that how you will. And finally watercolors is going to move over here as well. He's gonna go chill with the rest of the assault guys, even though they're never gonna accept him as one of their own. It's one of those sad realities, you know. So he's gonna have to move forward. I don't think he's got line of sight to shoot anybody. So if he moves forward, he shouldn't be able to shoot, and we should be okay. So it's one of those eh, things, but again, we still are running the risk of Reapers being out and about. So that is something that is never good to know. I'm going to float over here. And see what we can see. As it stands right now. Pretty wide open area. Should be able to do some work against this guy. And indeed I did. And we have vision that way. Let's see if a Scaro can actually land a... That's a little... Well, it's a little bit much. We'll go here. Might be able to hit this shot. No. Nope. Okay, so we'll move up a little bit further. In range. We're still not in range. Is it 20? That is still 20 TUs. Alright, we'll move up and... There we go. In the green range. Maybe he'll get an accuracy tip. I don't know. Be nice if he got an accuracy point. If not, well, he tried. He tried. He definitely, definitely tried. Alright, we're just going to unload on him. There we odd. Yeah, we, we hit him. We hit him once. It's not bad. Alright, and Nicole Hernandez is going to step up to the plate and take a shot here herself. And we said good day. But it wasn't that good of a day, apparently. I guess I will step up to the plate as well and take my shot. If I manage to hit this, I should kill him. Oh, I hit the rocks. That's unfortunate. Alright, Kier Lagan, rocking the plasma, says, you know what? I got a 35%. I'm going to hit this. See? Totally nailed the rocks, just like you. What? Alright, well, it's fine. I'm not super worried because we always have this ability. Now that we have the Sentinel armor on, all of our folks 
except for our walking tank who doesn't seem to tank very well. We are, uh, we're, we're doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good. Watercolors is gonna float up over here. And be like, oh my gosh! Alright, we're gonna have Redith, I guess, over here. We'll start setting up for our ship reaching tactics in a few turns. We're not quite to the point yet for where this is a viable option, but we're getting there. We're definitely getting to that point. We're just not quite at it yet. Alright, who do we have left that we haven't moved or done anything with? Uh, just Magic Nate Ball. That's kind of weird. There we go. Take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. And then this guy. This guy. Alright, uh, I guess you can move over here. Okay, we'll end our turn, and yeah, it looks like we'll just get this one thing in. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, I should be able to actually land and go in. Splooch. And I think I'm going to. And there's nothing here. Aha, there's something here. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, now I'm actually worried. Do I want to... Move in here. I think I'm just gonna close the door and hope that he doesn't grenade us all. Maybe move back a little further and then the next turn we'll go in for it. I, I it's gonna be a kind of a long run too. Though far less uh, deadly than the, the other one. Oh, look at him shooting at me, he's so cute. Thinking like something was gonna happen. Ooh. Alright, well, maybe I'm just gonna chill here for now then. Get me Tanad up into position to swoop in and kill folks. On the next uh, little bit, come on. The next little bit here. In the meantime. Back at the Hall of Justice. Ripity Dips can come over here and be hopefully kind of a a deterrent from murder and death. I don't know. I think I may have made some mistakes again. It's fine though. It should be fine anyway. Alright, he's got some decent TUs now, finally. him moving up and into position and that leaves almost no one left to move. I guess watercolors can come over here and good old magic nate ball can land I guess there-ish. There we go. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm kind of scared. I'm a little nervous. I'm definitely concerned. This makes me nervous really bad. We'll see. Shot. He's gonna throw a grenade. I'm pretty sure he's gonna throw a grenade. Is he gonna throw a grenade? Is he gonna stand there and look like, I don't know, Abraham Lincoln? What, what's happening? Oh. Okay. He just kind of moved, I guess. that's That was his choice. Well, I can't say it was a very good choice overall. I mean, that really didn't do much for him. I'm just saying. Just saying. That seemed slightly foolish. Alright, in the meantime... I am going to shoot this guy in the face. And then I'm going to come over here. Get shot in the back, that's fine. Kind of expected it. Got a free turnaround with that too, which is pretty sweet. And now we're going to get old Mutana in here. He had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. That's true. It's weird, though. 
he never seemed to eat fresh. He always seemed to eat stuff like boxed cereal and things like that. And never the bag cereal. He says the molto, molto, molto meal, molto meal. I don't remember what it's called anymore. It's been so long since I've seen it. They may be every bit as good as those, and they're only a dollar, but they don't have the brand name recognition that he has grown to love. So, Utanot is a brand name recognition guy, I guess. He needs that brand name, otherwise it just doesn't taste as good. We're talking cereal, though. I mean, maybe other things. Uh, is there a brand name meat? I imagine there probably is. He is a meatitarian. That's what he likes to tell people. Anything with meat, he will eat. I don't think he rhymes it as good as I do. That's just me. I'm a poet and I do know it, and I know I make a rhyme every time. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. I'm gonna get a magic nate ball to land somewhere. There we go. Welcome, magic nate ball. Okay. So everybody's moved a little bit. Sweet. We're going to continue onward. And we're going to slaughter our nemesis. Yeah, I kind of thought a grenade would come, but I also kind of assumed that I would reaction shoot first, but I did not. And everybody's like, I can't believe you stood next to the thing again. I did, and I like it, and I'm going to continue to do it. It doesn't make sense to me, though. It really doesn't that um, nobody reaction fires before the guy can chuck a grenade. It's really starting to wear on me. Fine though, I guess. It's not that big of an issue. Eh, whatever. We managed. So I murdered him already, and I'm just gonna murder this guy right in the back. Gone. And then I guess I'll step here. Look this way. Which is a bit strange, I realize, but it's okay. We're going to make sure we cover the stuffs. And we have covered it quite nicely. There we go. Alright, now everybody else needs to get their butts up in here because we have alien murder to, to commit. So let's try and commit some alien murder, shall we? Uh, can't really do much with him other than look him up. him in there. Watercolors can join the party. Oscaro. Sorry, Magic Nate Ball, you're going to be quite a bit short. It's going to take you like three more turns before you can reach the teleporters. It's fine. Alright. We have at least one person watching each of the teleporters. We're still fine. Nothing bad happened. I'm happy with that. And I suppose at some point I should probably send someone through. And maybe deal with one or two of these fellows. I'll deal with the first one. And can I deal with the second one? Looks like I can. And I did. Alright. Let's see if the atomic potato is ready to do some work this time, or if he's just going to get owned again. Uh, I still love it every single time. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, no question this time, guys, unless I've already asked it. I don't remember. I, I did uh, two recordings in a row, and it's all starting to blend together. I'm getting old. I can't remember things. Well, who are you? What, who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on third. That I don't know guy, I tell you what. Boy, I tell you what, he is not a fun character to deal with. Alright, well, I'm going to deal with this other guy all on my own here as Jack Lawrence. And I guess that means Mutanat only has to deal with the final guy and boom. Sweet, sweet, nice, easy victory. Simplistic, 120. Uh, I got accuracy, reflexes, TUs, and HP, which is great. Ascaro got all that stuff as well. Except no reflexes. He got, um, what did he get instead? Strength. Alright, let's see. Magic Nate Ball got strength and TUs. Two, thi two things that he needs desperately, so that's good. 
Uh, pretty good overall. Reflexes on Redith, even though uh, she had to suffer a grenade blast for it. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, so there we are. We have done our mission, our job, and we're going to wait until right about there. Now we're going to double check, make sure everybody is set over here. Oh, nobody's on any of the, the things. That's kind of bad. Alright, well we have to do this then. And... Once everybody is there, hmm. Okay, and then we have what enough room for two more. There we go, and we have to outfit everybody, and then we should actually figure out what we're going to do. Let's see, rifleman. And Doc B was a scout. Let's see, what kind of stats do you have, buddy? You have pretty bad accuracy, pretty bad everything, except you're really, really strong. Hmm. Well, um, I guess we'll change your role to... Maybe a shield unit? Make you an additional shield guy? That might not be too bad. And we will... Equip you, not with a... No, 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 no. We have an additional plasma there, and we are ready for it. And you are ready for it, man. You have earned yourself a position in that. Alright, so we have an assault. Two assaults. We have two snipers. We now have three shield units. Okay. We have a rifleman. <clears throat> and it wouldn't behoove me to get another sniper, would it? Mm -mm. So it looks like... Michael Reagan, buddy, you're going to end up being a rifleman. Equip your default, but we don't have the equipment, so... You're going to get wolf armor as well. We have one buzzard armor in case we had another sniper, <coughs> excuse me, ready to go, but we do not. So you're going to get that, which is still not bad. And we are going to definitely lighten your load. You have way too much stuff, and you cannot carry most of it. So you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to go back to equipment, and we're going to give you one of those. Alright, so everybody should be in at least some semblance of a decent amount of armor. Okay. You're fine. You're fine. What's your strength at? That's 84. You're fine. Uh, Nate Boru's got our first mag weapon. He is fine. His strength's a little lower than I'd like, but it's fine for now. Uh, Michael Reagan and Ben Doc B. And you're a little you're a little light on the strength department too. Not much though. You're not as bad as the others. So we're gonna do that. And you should actually we'll add one more in there. And maybe another gas. All right, that should be good for you. All right, now we just have to go over here. I'm just gonna prepare for the next go of it, guys. So keep that in mind. So we have a plasma dude go out that way. And we're going to have a shield guy. We'll have, I guess a plasma rifle. And we'll have Josie over there as well. The sniper person in the back. Move the sniper back here. Move the mag rifle up there. Plasma carbine. Up there. And finally the assault shield there. Alright, so there we go. We are all set up. We are decked out and ready to go. Apparently I've stopped producing everything with this guy, which is okay. We have decent funds still, so maybe, maybe I can continue to produce stuff. Um... I guess what I'll do now I guess what I can do now is maybe produce maybe produce another mag storm and I'll send that over across the way when I'm done it's four days to do that and we're going to send our group of people from the bump pod on over 
Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Tomorrow you will see the secondary squad go with the new dropship configuration and everything else. And hopefully they do just fine. I think they'll be okay. They're starting to get to the point where they're almost as well geared as our other guys. They're at least all up to plasma weapons. I think there might be one laser left, but overall it's not too, too bad. So, that's going to do it for me for today. I will catch you guys tomorrow with more Xenonauts. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>